All right, we're in the home stretch now. So, now that you have your outline completed and you have your thesis above, you're just going to have to export the outline so that you can either print it and turn it in or use it yourself or turn it into a Word document and begin building your paper around it. Now, um, the way you're going to do that is with this button right here that says print. Now, that's a little deceptive because you don't actually have to print with it. Um, but go ahead and click the print button and then you have print options. Outline with notes data and notes. You're going to want outline and with notes data because if you just pick outline all you're going to get is this over here which isn't very much information. You do want it with notes data. What you don't want is the notes because actually what that will do is down below the outline it will make you separate notes and um, honestly I can't imagine what the purpose of that would be um, but if somebody can think of one and wants to leave it in the comment section of this video that would be fine with me. So unclick that one and then go ahead and hit next. Now what it actually does is it makes a complete outline in the order that you gave and it gives you the quote as you can see here, the paraphrase that you created, the entire citation, and the identifier. Now I kind of shortcutted because I did all of this for the purpose of this video so you can see that I don't have everything that I need for each one of my notes myself. Um, and in fact, if you look down here at Father's Death for paraphrase, I put this is my paraphrase. But if I had done all of my notes as well as I had done that ancestor one that we did together in this video, then I would have all of this information to work with as well as my thesis at the top, which is where it will appear in your paper. It usually it appears in the introduction somewhere. And you have everything good to go. So what you would do at this step is you would cut and paste it. You would cut and paste it into a Word document or Google Docs or whatever it is that you word process with. Um, or you could simply, if you were doing this as an online project, you could cut and paste and um, turn it into your teacher or professor in an email. Or perhaps if there was an assignment turn in box, then you could cut and paste it there. But the main thing you want to do with it is that you want to use it to write your research paper. And research papers, oftentimes students will make the mistake of trying to figure out what they want their entire paper to be about and then try to find the sources that back that up. And that's actually the reverse kind of logic that they need to be using. Um, it's not about what you think and finding people that agree with you. Research papers are about seeing what the experts think and conceptualizing based on that. And then your job is simply to stitch together the ideas of, you know, people who are published and have done quite a bit of study in the area and to lace those or stitch those together with your own personal commentary. So this is pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for watching these videos. If you watched only some or all of them, I appreciate your time and thanks.